week's Michelle Valentine show and this segment is the Dear Michelle Valentine and as you can see I have four really special girlfriends joining me today and we have a really special letter that we're going to read but first I want to introduce you to my girlfriends okay so let's start right over here so tell us tell everybody who you are and what you're all about Hi, I'm Abigail Johnston, been an attorney since 2002 here in Orlando, and I focus on domestic relations. I represent people of all ages and walks of life in legal issues that they encounter uh, inside a family. So that ranges from divorces all the way to adoptions, also represent children. But what I really, really am passionate about is working with women as they transition, whether it's into a relationship or out of a relationship, and all of the legal issues that come along with that do that in the courtroom, fighting for my clients for whatever it is that they are really passionate about. But I also am really passionate about a new way of doing divorce called collaborative law, which is a supposed to be a uh, low tension way of resolving divorces that um, occurs within a team. And if you are interested in learning more about what I can do for you, the number is 407-963-6989. And my next girlfriend, tell us all about you and what you have here in your hands. Thank you so much, Michelle. It's an honor to be here. My name is Angela Latour, and I am the author of Incredible Dating Adventures. Next, my website is IncredibleDatingAdventures.com. I found myself single at the age of 50 after a 30-year marriage. I married at a very young age. I was 19, but I was really 15. So at 50, I started dating. And the dating world presented a lot of incredible dating adventures. So after about six months, I decided it was time to start writing about some of these adventures. And I wanted to write a book that wasn't a self-help, a how-to, and definitely not a book that was going to be a bit of a mail basher book. So this is a fun field read that speaks to a large audience and it's full of reality. And it's full of endless humor and true heart and enduring humanity. It has six key points. It encourages single women to move forward with their lives, experience peace from within. Men will learn what not to do. Married people will cher cherish their mates in a fresh new way. And lessons learned help with wisdom as you move forward in the dating world. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Okay, and my next guest, very special guest as well. Tell us, we, and we're actually taping here at your location, so tell us more. My name is Kalisha Wilson, and I'm the owner of Ashira Photography, which is lavishly chic boudoir couture and photography. We specialize in boudoir photography, which makes women feel sexy and happy and just shows that inner beauty. We try to specialize in boudoir parties, giving you that special gift. Here's one of our gifts that we have um, clients give. This is called our CoverGirl magazine. It's a special magazine that you give to that special someone to just spice up your romance. You can reach us at www.ashirephotography.com. That's A-S-H-I-R-A photography.com. Or Facebook us at Ashir Photography on Facebook. Great! That is so great. Okay, now, the last girlfriend, tell us all about you and what you have right now in your hands. Hello, my name is April Thomas. I'm an author of three books. And my endurance series has filled with paranormal romance, mystery, and action, humor, and it's great for both men and women. Um, you can also purchase some of my autographed copies of my book at my favorite salon, Conway Hair. Also, you can learn more about me and my series at endurance9.com and you can also find me on Facebook. I also have a fan page called The Endurance Series. So, check me out. Yay! Oh my gosh, I am so excited to have so many girlfriends here today. Okay, so now that we kind of have a little background and everybody here, all these intelligent, talented ladies, now let's see if you can help us here. We have someone who wrote me a letter and let's see if we can help them. Are you ready? Okay. All right, so here is the Dear Michelle Valentine letter. Dear Michelle Valentine, the other night I was out with my friends at a bar when I ran into an old flame of mine. We were nothing serious back in the day, but he was looking fantastic. We got to talking and he gave me his number. I tried to call him the next day to go to dinner, but he didn't answer, so I left him a message. 
It's been two days since I left the message on his answering machine. Should I take this as a hint and move on? Should I try again? Help! Write sincerely, Catherine from New York, New York. So, ladies, all right, so here's the gal that she had an old flame, met him in a bar, he was looking great. Have you ever, you know, come into that situation? Yes. Meet somebody and you're like, oh, a couple of you ladies are married maybe, or, <laughs> right? And you see he's fantastic looking. So, so what, what do you think? He's, oh, you're the, the attorney here. So, so maybe on a more personal note, or maybe even a legal, a legal standpoint, what do you think she should have done or do? Oh, well, I can't think of any legal issues here, although there, there might be. But um, I would certainly say that the, the time of the girl has to wait for the guy to call is certainly yes. over. Um, however, there is an element of self-respect. You need to have a little bit of self-respect yes, for yourself. Yes, right. And, um, if he hasn't called back after a couple of days, I say wait. Really, really, okay. Uh huh. Move on. Uh huh. Move on. Move on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now I understand no one here is addressing the issue to begin with. First of all, first of all, she got his number. What I is was that? Going to that? What is that? Michelle. He should have gotten his her number, right? Yes. If he really, if he really liked her, he would have gotten her number, and he should have pursued her. And and I'm more That's traditional, true. and and right. I yeah. Think so. So. <laughs> I think it's more romantic when the guy chases you. So. Sure. Sure. Well, and. Today's age, they try women try to take charge, but it's, I think they should still wait because that means he's really interested if he wants your number. Right. I think men will always be hunters. Right. And we need to be frank <laughs> yeah, a bit. I so I, I really think that um, he should have asked for her number. Uh huh. And too much time has gone by. So my answer in one word is next. <laughs> So he's definitely next. Yes. Okay, so let's so let's try to help this gal here, Catherine. So she already she already she didn't listen to anything of what we're saying of like he should have gotten her number. So that's too far along. But she did leave him a message. So unanimously is it that she should not call him or just just say next, right? I vote not and next. Uh-huh. I agree. Not I next. Move on. move on. Audience, what do you think? Why don't you write to us and tell us what do you think she should do? Especially guys out there, what, uh, what do you think should happen? Do you think you should get the girl's number? Uh, do you like it when she gets your number? And how long uh, How long should she wait till she hears from you? Now, though, earlier, wait a minute, earlier you were telling me before we were taping, weren't you saying something about where um, she should wait a couple days, like, oh, it's only a couple days. It is only a couple days. Most men take longer to call a girl back. Uh -huh. Even if you leave them a message, it takes them maybe a week or two. They're not on the same roadmap as we are. It's like, oh, you should call right away. Because if a guy calls us, we usually return the call within one or two days. Uh -huh. Guys take longer than that. So mm -hmm. Why do you think so? Why do you think guys like, take longer to call back? I don't know about that. My husband called me back right after our first date. Aww. So, you know, Aww. so I would say a keeper, if they really want to have a relationship with you, they are going to call back sooner. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Exactly. And let them pursue you, and they feel that they won the prize. And we're all prizes, right, ladies? Yes. yes. So I think uh, that's definitely a way to go. So I'm tempted to ask our cameraman out there because, you know, he's the guy, but we're not going to bring him in on this. So, but, so guys out there, we really want to know and hear from you. So write to us and let us know. So now here's another uh, situation as well. So not only did she try to call him, but she was going to take him to dinner. Okay, now, okay, <laughs> right, now, okay, now, if this was the case, now let's pretend that he did call her back because she wanted to go to, to take him to dinner, okay, and he'd call her right back because maybe he's just hungry. <laughs> maybe he just wants a free meal. <laughs> so, so what do you think, uh, so if she was to get his number, and what would be an alternative situation? So if she was to get his number and she was to call him, where do you think they should at least go? Back to the bar? No way. No, <laughs> yeah. Meet in a neutral location uh -huh. where you can actually have a conversation. Starbucks is always a great place. To right. Meet. Panera. Right. Panera mm -hmm. Bread will make a good place, especially if she offered to pay for the day up front. Right. Right. She wants to take him to dinner. Give out to a lavishly, all expensive, all-out dinner. 
set up a bad precedent to where yeah. then he'll be expecting you to pay for the rest of the day. Exactly, well. exactly. So, and again, this whole thing is based upon the fact that, that he was just looking really good. <laughs> so, you know, if they were at a bar, <laughs> I think after a few cocktails, doesn't everyone start to look really good? Yeah. <laughs> How does that saying go? At a, at a 10 to 2, a 2 is a 10, but at 10 a.m., there are two again. Have you heard of that? <laughs> Replay this when you're at home and, and you'll understand. <laughs> and also, if you beat him in a bar, you lose him in a bar. Ooh. That's Ooh. <laughs> wow. Anybody out there that got married from meeting somebody in a bar? I'd love to hear that as well. So, okay, well, that's it for this Dear Michelle Valentine this week. And I hope you enjoyed our conversation. Ladies, anything else you want to bring? Say, last minute. Don't pick up men in the bar. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Valentine. Stay tuned for next week for another exciting Dear Michelle Valentine. And if you have any questions of your own, please write to us, info at michellevalentine.tv or visit us at www.michellevalentine.tv. See you next week. To view more videos, see photo galleries, and more fun stuff, visit the Michelle Valentine TV Show website at www.michellevalentine.tv. TV. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn.